All right, welcome back to Ozarks Live. Now, before the break, we showed you the trailer of the new, brand new documentary called The Jackie Styles Story. We'll say hello to the woman herself, Jackie Styles, and director Brent Huff. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much for having us on. Thanks yes. for having us. Well, this is going to, and this is well deserved. How did this come about, the documentary, Brent? It was your idea? I have wanted to do the Jackie Styles documentary for years because I look for stories. And what could be a better story than an undersized girl from a small Kansas town who has big dreams and then accomplish them with hard work and grit? And uh, this was before social media and the word about Jackie spread through all throughout the Midwest. Mm -hmm. And uh, my parents, who uh, were big Jackie Styles fans, still big Jackie Styles fans, said, you've got to come watch this kid play. And I went to the arena there and it was packed and everybody's wearing Styles number 10 jerseys. Yeah. And oh, I yeah. get there and she put on a show. And I, I've never seen a female player like that before. I mean, she'd do, rise up and do the fadeaway jump shots at the top of the key. I'm like, how does she have the strength to do it? And just was a scoring machine. It was a, the whole team was a pleasure to watch. It was oh, a well-coached no team, yeah. great teammates. And, um, and then I, I was a fan from then on. Was it hard to get you on board when he called you? Well, you know, what he say? <laughs> well, actually, at first I got an email and I, I was like, is this guy for real? Does yeah. he really want to do a movie about my life? And yeah. then um, I met him. And then when I, we did our first interview is actually at Missouri State. And I was like, wow, this guy is a real deal. I was just blown away by how much he knew about my story and then other things that he had done. Um, he had done some uh, 30 for 30s for ESPN and extremely nice. talented. And, and I'm just so um, proud and grateful for all of the hard work he's put into the film, but I haven't seen it yet, so I'm looking forward to tomorrow. It's 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 it. uh, it's being revealed to you as well. You saw the trailer right now. That's basically what you've seen. Yep. That the only thing I've seen is the trailer, and the first time I I saw it, it, it brought me to tears. I uh. was just mesmerized by his work and and how he he told my story just a little bit in the in the trailer. So I'm really looking forward to tomorrow, and and also just to be able to share it with the community of Springfield because. This would not have happened if it wasn't for them and all their support on and off the floor. You had a huge fan base, still do, but I do remember those days so well, and it was just such a great time. And again, great teammates and Cheryl Burnett and everything. That was a very exciting time for Missouri State. Oh, yeah. It was. Um, so, what was the filming process like? Well, it was, it was a lot of fun because Brent made it fun. Uh, so actually, you know, he came, I think, three separate times and interviewed me. One was at Missouri State. Um, he came out to Oklahoma. I was an assistant coach there for the last two years. And then also um, he came to Tulsa and did an interview. So um, we, we had a lot of fun doing it because, like I said, he's a great guy and very talented at what, he, what he's done. So. Now, you, you know, things like that, you can kind of go to social media and stuff and get some of the facts. Are you answering the question that I think a lot of people had is, where'd Jackie go? Yeah. I mean, WNBA Rookie of the Year, all of these accomplishments, and then I don't hear anything anymore. Are you dealing with that question? Well, I, I am, but uh, a lot of people are fans of Jackie, so they kind of know that... Uh, it's sort of part of this story is what got her to the level where she ended up, you know, breaking the all-time NCAA scoring record, becoming the uh, WA Rookie of the Year. Uh, all that hard work and wear and tear on her body ended up costing her in the long run. Her body started to break down with, with the injuries. Mm -hmm. And I think Jack would probably say it was worth it. Uh, but that's what happened. She literally worked so hard, it, it broke her body down. But uh, look what she accomplished. And oh, yeah. uh, what are you doing now? Well, actually, um, I'm starting a fitness franchise, Next Gen Fitness. It's a private personal training studio. I hope to be open in May. And then I also do small group basketball lessons and camps and clinics. And you can reach me at JackieStyles.com, my new website, if anybody's interested in any of that. But, you know, I, I think, what, what am I really passionate about? And I love basketball, obviously. I love fitness. And I wanted to come back to this community and give back because they've given me so much through the years. And I, I look at the first half of my career as all about, you know, how can I be the best basketball player I can be? And it was more about success. Now it's more about significance. How can I use my gifts and, and, and the platform I have to help the most amount of people? Okay, and you, now you had an, a bout with cancer as well. 
an yes. ocular cancer, correct? Yes, a rare form of cancer. And I was just blown away by how this community came and rallied around me and supported me through that difficult time. You know, I don't know if I would have gotten through if it wasn't for the tremendous outpouring of support. And so, again, that's why I'm so glad to be back living in Springfield. And, um, you know, fortunately, I'm doing uh, really good. Um, I go every six months mm -hmm. and get scanned because uh, the one bad thing about this cancer is it metastasizes um, in 50 percent of the cases. Mm. So, um, you know, I always am constantly getting checked. But, you know, I, I don't wish cancer on anyone, but I can tell you I am better because I have went through it. And, you know, the one thing I vow to do everything every day is one small act of kindness because oh, of okay. how I was touched by the people that came and rallied b behind me during my difficult time. Wow. Is it any reason we love her to pieces? That's the way to be. <laughs> All right. The Jackie That's Styles story, to yeah, debuts yeah. tomorrow at the Gilloys. Correct. Okay. You can go to the Gilloys. It is a fundraiser, by the way. It is a fundraiser for the K. Yao Cancer Fund, which that is very nice of you both. Great to see you, as always, Jackie Styles and Director Brent Huff. Thank Look you. forward Thank you so to it tomorrow. Thank you for having hey, thanks us. Thanks for having us. Right. We'll be right back.